a little dosy do There, see, we got it back. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to. This is for you, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Your friend can't hear what you're saying. Nods like he gets it, but your patience is failing. You feel bad because you know that's. We're going to start that over again. Okay, the whole idea is the song is uh, is supposed to help us get over the stigma of people needing hearing aids. Your friend can't hear what you're saying. Nods like he gets it, but you know he's faking. You feel bad because your patience is failing. There's an elephant in this room. If they suspect, I can't tell what's being said. If they suspect it, then I'm dead. So I try to fool them and nod my head. There's an elephant in this room. When you pretend that you can hear, repeating it louder doesn't make it clear. And hurt my feelings is what they fear. There's an elephant in this room. When you have trouble hearing, you make everybody tense. It's character defect that makes you seem so dense. And if you try to interact, just like you have a clue, if it makes no sense, well, your friends don't know what to do. Hard to tell a person you can't hear a thing they say. And everybody knows if you try to get away, everybody lies and the lies are in the way. There's an elephant in this room. Now this is a trilogy, which is, there's three different songs kind of rolled into one. This, that was the end of the first one. So you're one third of the way through. Just hang on, it won't be too bad. Always good. You're not gonna cancel during intermission like I won't be that. I wanna be a hearing aid poster boy and clean out all of this elephant poop. Oh. Nothing is wrong with me or with you. And it's not your job to deliver the scoop. <laughs> Nobody's to blame, the pattern's mine to change. If I don't hide the problem, the truth sets us free. That'd be us. I no longer will seem dense and deranged. If you have trouble hearing, you can fix it like me. So hearing aids cost more when you go to an audiologist. But here's the thing, modern hearing aids need to be programmed by a pro to work their best. Well, my audiologist helped me get my ears all measured and tuned into the hearing aids. And, and then she suggested that I get skin colored hearing aids. but I wanted to show them off. I wanna strike a mighty blow against the stigma of needing hearing aids. So I picked titanium as the color for my hearing aids. And so now I really am the hearing aid poster boy. Now this is the third part of the trilogy now. Frank, I'm so pleased that you decided to get hearing aids. You're so much more fun to be around at parties. And you were so smart to get that titanium color. It matches your eyeglasses perfectly. 
I can't even tell you I have hearing aids. Maybe I should have gone with red or maybe green. <laughs> Outstanding. Where's the tip jar? <laughs> so, Jerry, you should know we were talking about stereo equipment, which led to hearing aids, which led to Frank's performance. I used to, I used to serve on the credit union board when I was in Kentucky, and our division plant manager also served, and we'd we'd get together frequently and. Spouses were generally invited, and his wife would try to tell him something and about his poor hearing. But he would he would always tell her, "I'm hearing more than I want to hear right now." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why do I need hearing aids? <laughs> yeah. My my mother uh, was had very selective hearing, and she really knew how to work it to her advantage. And she finally got hearing aids. And um, what she did is, I mean, she heard things more accurately. So the bottom line is she was better able to uh, work her selective hearing to her advantage because she was getting an accurate read on what was actually being said. So it gave her better options for interpretations. <laughs> yeah. It's the well, old Bree always, Bree always told the story about her grandparents that lived on 18th Street South, right down the bottom of the hill from uh, the club. And whenever his wife was uh, saying something he didn't want to hear, he would just reach up and indignantly turn off his hearing aid. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to, if you got any parting shots for Jerry, so I'm going to turn the record. Miss you, Jerry. Maybe yeah. we'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Miss you, Jerry. All right. Good luck with your options. Take care, Jerry.